Yeah. I bet you'd like some of that. Okay, I want to try some. You want to try one? Yeah. Don't take too many though. Don't spoil your appetite. Only one. Okay. Okay. Mm. Like chips? You can have that. Okay. Oops. Don't eat that, no, Nick. That's for you? Yeah, I'll take that. Is hair on it? Yeah, hair, gross things, ick, bugs. Little tiny bugs. Nick. You know what I mean? Okay. Where to go, Nick? Let's go down now. Okay. Let's go downstairs now. You gotta go eat. Let's go. Actually, let's go rec let's just go across here. Let's check this out. Are you gonna come down? Yeah, I'll come down. I'm doing a cooking show. I'm, eat this I'm showing people how to cook uh, grilled uh, catfish. Well, as you know, everything's pretty much ad libbed here on the crappy kitchen. Today, we're trying to do up some uh, catfish. What I got here is some uh, ginger, and it's a. Uh, I'm just squeezing the juices out with the garlic press. You need a good garlic press to do this. You know, got it, some olive oil, soaking a little olive oil. I'm gonna add a little garlic, squeeze a little garlic out of there. Got the garlic, I'll show you for the whole process. You know, here's your garlic thing, you buy it at the store, right? And you rip a piece of garlic like out. You see that? Then you put it on the plate like this. And you take your heel like this. Crush that. Then, you got a top piece of garlic, you just kind of peel the stuff right off. See that? It just comes off when you're left with this thing. And that's going to be enough garlic. I'm going to put it in the garlic press. See there's still a little ginger stuff left in there? Ginger root? You know what? Leave it in there. It's fine. And then what you want to do is squeeze it out. Still a bunch of garlic juice, but there you go. I got it on the uh, the catfish, and uh, I'm gonna take a fork, I think, and just kind of spread it around. Adding some basil. I need a. This isn't fresh basil. That would be better. About like that much. And a little bit of pepper. Yeah, a little pepper. Next step, the grill. Well, I cut a little piece of this uh, red pepper off and put it in here. So, what I'm gonna do is uh, squeeze this in onto this uh, catfish. See those juices from that red pepper? I'm not sure what kind of pepper it is. Looks like a jalapeno kind, it's hot. You get it at the store, I'm not sure what it's called. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna scrape that little excess onto the fish too and spread it around and it should be good for the grill. Just add a little spice. Some people kind of wimpy, don't like the hotness, but if you are gonna add heat, it's best to use fresh hot peppers. Let's do a vegetable medley. A good looking red pepper, folks. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of carrots, a little bit of this. Then I'm going to make this sauce. Garlic, a little bit of half and half, a little bit of butter. Um, and a little bit of hot pepper juice. Now there are some peppers. I left that the rest of that pepper in there. Put the garlic right on top of that. And what you got here is... doesn't come out like it should. See? Now if you wanted to clear this thing out, it might be a good idea. But sometimes it's cool just to squeeze all that stuff together. Got all that in there. Actually, I'm just going to keep doing this like this. I'm cutting up a piece of this pepper. Toss it in there. Yeah, I got the pepper and there's that garlic in there. Just going to scoop that out. Kick. 
See? Pepper and garlic. Oh man. Freaking out. Not too much. You don't need a super thick coat on the veggies. And I'd say about, you know, that much butter, so not that much. So it ends up, uh, let's put a piece of plastic out here now. I had to put plastic on the lens because, uh, you know, the garlic scene can sometimes lend itself to flying garlic on the lens sucks. It's hard to clean off. So yeah, I'm just gonna microwave that. That's gonna be our sauce for the veggies. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. A bit of broccoli. This is your brain on fresh vegetables. And the only other deal in here is going to be uh, got carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, and I got some peppers, some like red pepper cut up, hot pepper, and regular green pepper. Just gonna throw that in there too. And I'm just going to steam this stuff on a steamer. I don't know, 25 minutes or something. I like stuff. Not too done, but I don't like it when it's too crispy. Oh, so, yeah. It's coming. I'd say around there about eight minutes. I'd say another six or something, maybe. Got that. That's done. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm gonna cut this up a little bit carrots and mix it around a little more before I add the sauce. Here's that sauce. Half and half garlic. A little butter. A little bit of the hot peppers. All squeezed in. Now I'm just going to kind of mix this all together. Let it soak in there. And there's your meal. Salmon. Add a little lemon if you want. And not salmon. What am I saying? No, we're talking catfish. Vegetable medley with half and half. Butter. Garlic. Red pepper. Sauce. That's it for this edition of the Crappy Kitchen. This guy right out here, whether he or she may be, catches some fish today. You're catching some crappies out there, Joe. Uh, Johnny's out there. Are you pulling in the, uh, the bullets? Thank you.